We are getting closer and closer to Christmas, but that doesn't mean that we have to be done decorating, right? I am never done decorating for Christmas, and the evergreen garland that I'm gonna show you today doesn't have to be just for Christmas. It's a great way to bring the outdoors indoors during those post-Christmas blues in January, too. So another thing I love about this, too, is when it comes to decorating, we spend a lot of money mm -hmm. on it. So whenever you can use something, which you're gonna be doing for us today, and yes. create something yourself, you're saving a lot of money, especially on garland. Some of this garland is really expensive to buy, and even if you were just buying fake garland, it's expensive. So what we're gonna do is turn the trimmings from our Christmas tree into garland. So if you cut down a Christmas tree, you usually have branches at the bottom that are maybe wonky or you're not gonna use, and okay. they get trimmed off. So usually if you go cut it down yourself, you can take some with you or you can go to the place where you're getting your live Christmas tree and ask them for some of these or purchase some. So I got most of these, we got our tree from Landscape Garden Center. So they just, I just, they've got bins of all different kinds, right? So you can right. pick up all these just boughs and this is what you're gonna use to make your garland. Okay, so once I have these, yes. I mean, there's some pretty big pieces. What do I need to do first? So the first thing you're going to do is cut down some of the bigger pieces into smaller pieces like this. So- And by cut down, what should we use? Well, you can use a scissors, you can use some kind of garden tool. So here's a big one for you. It's a little, it can be tricky, we'll move that down. So you're just gonna take some sort of scissors or something and you want pretty big pieces. Like I'm gonna end up using this piece for this, but you don't want any of the big trunk and don't worry about it being perfect because once it's assembled, you can go back in and kind of clean up a, a wonky okay. branch. So you just kind of want to get like, for this one, I'd say, since these are kind of wonky, maybe just like cut like right here, and okay. then you'll use this whole piece. Do you want to try it? You have to sure. cut it pretty hard. Use all my muscles. I'll use all. You have a lot of muscles. Orange Theory's been working. Oh my! The branch is thick. The branch is thick, and probably if your husband doesn't hide all the tools like mine does, you could get some nicer ones. I'm literally putting all okay. of my weight onto the scissor. Here, let's try to move the scissors up. <laughs> I'm literally <laughs> using all of my weight. All right, I... Did you purposely give me the No, thing? I did not. I got it started for her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was putting my body weight into that. I know, I know. So you get these pieces like this. So you can kind of go through and cut down your pieces. Now, one thing I like to do is, if I can, mix a few together. So this is a Fraser fir. This is the kind of tree we get. And I also have some pieces that are a scotch pine. So if you're getting this from a tr Christmas tree place, you know, you can kind of pick and choose. But another right. fun tip is maybe have a friend get a different kind of Christmas tree than you and you can exchange sure. some of yeah. them. So, so you can use different ones in yeah, the same garland. And it kind of makes it even better. So all you're going to do is start by laying one piece out. Okay. And then you're going to take this green floral wire. Okay. It can also come on a spool like this and you don't, you could use silver, right? Lay this under your garland here, put the wire down, okay? And then you're just gonna lay another piece over it, but kind of come up a little ways. So that's gonna be, let's call this the end of our garland. Okay. We'll just lay another piece on the top. Okay. Now, and wire it. just wire it. And this is green, it's not gonna show up. So what tips do you have for wiring to hide the wire or is it just wrap Don't it? Don't even worry about it, just wrap it around tight. Kay. Just like, I mean. And it's green, so it blends it's in. It's green, it blends in. The next piece that you put on top is gonna kinda hide some of that too. So you just wanna make sure it's secure and isn't gonna fall apart. That's okay. all. And then you're just gonna keep going. So this is the bottom. So you're just gonna take this and you can always wanna lay the next piece on top so it covers the I was gonna say the then stem. you see the branch. Yep. So if I put this here, just give you another piece of floor wire. And I have a picture of what it looks like in my house right now hanging up too while you kinda tie that together. But you did something even more with this. Well, I added dried or dehydrated orange slices because, well, why not? You know, and we had Brooke on our show, I think last week, and she had these dehydrated oranges as ornaments that she showed us. And this is the same exact technique. I just dehydrated them and hang them. And so that's the garland from my tree, right? So once we have this all put together, yes. our long garland, and I mean, if I were to put this like around you know, like the door, it can be wider, but say I have only like a thin area, I could trim some of these, You right? can, okay. and so maybe, you know, this is where you could kind of add in this other kind. See how nice it looks when you have a different kind with it? Yeah, I do like that. And then you can just kind of, this has got a little bit of a bare branch at the top, but we'll cover it up. So then all you're gonna do is just keep going until it's as long as you want it. I use about 
five of these big boughs to make that garland around my kitchen door. Really? Only yep, five? Only five. It really that was long. It was really long. And so you're just going to keep going until it's as long as you want. Now, one thing I'll say works better for me is to do the finishing touches while it's hanging. Oh, so gosh. I'll get it where I think it's good okay. and then hang it up. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to find, you know, is there a place I need to secure it more? Like maybe right here, add another piece of wire. And then I'm just going to go through with the scissors and say like, oh, this piece is hanging out too far. I don't want that piece. Or... There's a little tiny bare spot right here, so I'm going to wire a little piece of garland up there. Okay. So you can kind of get it hung up. Don't worry about it being perfect while you're making it. Get it put in the place you want. Go through, take a little piece off here, tie a little piece up there, and you can kind of perfect it as you go. So then for actually putting it, whether you're going to do it around your door or somewhere else, for actually getting it hung up mm -hmm. there, what tips do you have? Well, I usually let my husband do that part. <laughs> I mean, that's, the, that's the tip I have. Give it to somebody else. <laughs> we have sort of permanent hooks around our door because I always do this. Okay. But I think whatever you're using to hang any kind of fake garland to, this really isn't overly heavy. Right. Um, one thing you can do, and I know Brooke said this when she was here, spray this down with any wax-based cleaner like Pledge or Old English, and it will stay fresh longer. Okay. And if you're using this outside, that cold weather really preserves it. So I that love it. Sense, and you can yeah. kind of make a, you could also do like a bow that just goes over the door. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That'd be super simple. So there you go. Was this the easiest DIY I've ever brought you? It was. All I had to do was tie some wire. We Scissors were a little hard, but. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for teaching us how to do this.